Well, that pretty much wraps up the show. We are going to do at least one more episode by the end of the year. I think right now we'll probably do one a month. We did one in October. We'll do one. We just did this in November. Yeah. Probably wait a month, see what see what kind of news comes out. But we definitely need to do our end of the year asshole of the year. Fifth annual. We've done four assholes of the year, starting out with Addison Russell, Rob Manfred, of course. We indicted the entire Mets organization. <laughs> Two years ago, and last year, uh, of course, Fernando Tatis Jr. This year, we need to start talking about our our nominations, at least, for Asshole of the Year. And, and we'll take uh, any listeners' suggestions as well. You can get yeah. to us on Twitter or on our Facebook page or on our website. I shut off comments on our YouTube page long ago because we got too many date rapists fighting for the right to date rape with uh, whole trevor bauer situation so i just felt it was better just to shut off comments there so but you can comment on any of our other social media if you've got suggestions for assholes of the year uh just off the top of my head we might as well nominate uh oakland a's owner john fisher callously relocating the team and blaming it on the fans themselves yes uh spending his his parents money from the gap the cap clothing empire uh just a despicable situation yeah spending it poorly yeah absolutely or not at all really taking his taking his toys and moving to vegas for whatever reason just shitting on an entire population and they're in oakland uh other potential nominations i I, is there some way to throw the white Sox in there they have well i okay so this is what i was gonna say we never They've crushed your spirit you you stopped watching baseball got to be jerry reinstorf okay i was i had him on my list we'll we'll definitely nominate i didn't know what direction you wanted to go there yeah i thought the white Sox had to be nominated somehow because for a lifelong baseball fan as as yourself to be to the point where you can't even watch a game yeah, I'm, someone I'm, is being an asshole. Someone's being an asshole to you specifically and to all White Sox fans out there. We were sold a bag of magic beans. <laughs> we really so you're gonna were. you're gonna nominate Ryan Zorf. I didn't know I'm, if you I'm, wanted to go after Han or Kenny or no, the whole organization. No, because no, I believe over time, the I think Jared. Rick Han might have a bestseller on his list. Mm. If he actually ever, God, I can't wait. Decided. And he's been totally silent, hasn't he? Yeah. Him? Well, I think he's just looking. He's He's hoping people realize he should be in a front really office going on there. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be in a front office somewhere. Maybe the Kansas City Royals. But uh, <laughs> the irony. Um, but you know, um, I think that's yeah. A, I think, I think a tell-all for... book from Han would be one of the most, at least for me, one of the most fascinating reads. Oh, I think that would be fantastic. I, I hope we'd have to definitely have a do a, a book review. On yeah, this podcast. We'd have to out. read. God. The only other we've got two owners there. I think those yeah. are strong, strong candidates. You and I yeah. have a we might have to fight about who. Well, maybe we have <laughs> we might even have co assholes in the air. No one can yeah, stop maybe. us. Maybe no one can stop us. I'm gonna throw a player in there. I did earlier. Eduardo Rodriguez for everything I described. Oh, earlier. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure his level of assholishness comes comes to that level of John Fisher or Jerry Reinsdorf, but I'm gonna nominate him at least at in this at this moment. But yeah, go ahead. If you're listening to this, go ahead and send us your nominations either through the website, through our Twitter feeds, or Facebook. You can get a hold of us if you need to. So yeah, we're out. That'll there. be fun. I always look forward to asshole of the year. <laughs> That's the, actually the last couple of years. Those, those have been some of our highest rated podcasts. So people are looking looking to listen to who we want, who we call the biggest asshole in sports. Word Hole Media.